Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rakak, Wadash, Mama. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well, Aharwan, Banyasha Allah, of the Lion's Den Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, our wife and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank y'all, back to another lesson. And Yahar Ratazah is edifying. You know, I just wanted to start off in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Right. <clears throat> and I read verse 33. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Right. As in the foundations, just as well as the uh, seven churches of, of Asian Minor. You know, which will, you know, the foundation today would represent what? Uh, the, the apostle of, of, of Great Millstone, man. You know, we've been ruling well in his truth, all right? You know, and uh, it camps like ourselves, man, who, who we believe, you know, Yahara Tazar, we're one of those churches, you know? But uh, I just wanted to bring that scripture out because the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, you know? Ultimately, you got to get this truth. From who, hey, from who the Lord set it up for you to get it from, you know. <clears throat> but from there, I want to go to the book of St. John, chapter 10 and verse 27. All right. Because it's coming down to, all right, these other wayward ch churches, all right, the IUICs, the ISUPKs, all right, it's coming down to where, hey, you have to worship in spirit and in truth, man. You know, and hey, if you didn't have fourth good fruit, all right, it's gonna be him down ultimately. All right, we go get into that. And it's the book of St. John, chapter 10, and verse 27. And this is the book of St. John, chapter 10, and verse 27. Well, I started verse 26. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Right? You know, ultimately, you got to worship the Lord in truth and in sincerity. All right? And this is not about uh, living lavishly, building communities here in America. All right? In the second Egypt, in Babylon. You know, like these other wayward camps I was preaching on. You know, the Kwam Yasharala and all that, which is the spirit you should be in now, you know. But then you don't hear that Kwam Yasharala now. You know, you, it's, it's, it's silence, right? Because, hey, they haven't been listening to the Lord. They haven't been doing the Lord's will and truth and sincerity, man. But ultimately, the, the Lord's sheep hear his voice, you know. If there was of the Lord's sheep, they'll hear the rebukes. Or as the scriptures say, rebuke them sharply, man. You know, and that's out of love, man. So they can get, they can get it right, you know, and they can be uh, pleasing to the Lord. But they didn't want to do that, all right. And it's back in John ten and twenty eight. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. You know, so you got the wicked scribes. And Pharisees here again, just as you got the prophets of old here again, all right? And you got the wicked scribes of Pharisees believing in America, all right? You know, want to live it up in America, how they cake and eat it too, all right? Representing IUIC, ISUPKs, the GLCCs, the Sakaris, right? These uh, Hebrew Israelite camps, these groups who have a lot of people and a lot of following, you know? But the Lord is not about the mass of following, man. They're all Israel is not of Israel, you know? But from now, I want to go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, all right? Because ultimately, we ultimately hey, we are to uh, preach to the wind, all right? Just as he told Ezekiel, all right? And it's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. And that's what we do, man. We preach to the wind, you know? And hey, we, we're being fishers of men right now, you know? Casting out that reel and, and hey, whoever bite on that bait that's who it was ultimately for man you know so i sometimes i even start off my lessons on you know a this this truth is ultimately for the elect man. you know because that's 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 ultimately who it's for man because that's ultimately who the lord is dealing with on his side 
because uh, two thirds of our people is gonna perish here, man, pertaining to Zephaniah chapter three, verse eight. All right. But this is Ezekiel chapter 37. It's a lot here. This is Ezekiel chapter 37, and I'll start at verse one. The hand of the Lord was upon me and cried me out in the spirit of the Lord and carried, Salakia, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry, right? You know, a dry, dehydrated, man. You know, not filled with the, 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 the spirit, you know, the, the water. You know, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? You know, and ultimately we're in that, that, that valley today, man, representing America. All right. The valley, the shadow of death. All right. The second Egypt, you know, the, a reincarnated Rome. Right. Wait, we're, we're, we're eight. Romans 11 verse eight, man. This is spiritually Sodom in Egypt, man. You know, where the dead bodies are laying in the streets. All right. Roughly paraphrasing because... Hey, our people don't know the Lord, you know, they're spiritually dead, you know, not having the wisdom, knowledge, or understanding of what the Lord is getting ready to do in the times that we are in, you know. So this back in Ezekiel 37 and 3, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? I, and I answered, O Lord power, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Right, and that's what we do. You know, just like he told Ezekiel, just like he told the prophet Isaiah, all right? You know, whether they hear or forbear, all right? We, 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 we try to tell our people that, hey, this is the right way, all right? Prophesy in South Cloth, all right? Yeah, you can't keep the whole law. You're not perfect. Establish the law, all right? But you're going to be saved through faith, all right? And ultimately through your works. All right, you got to put your hand on this plow if you're a man and have testicles, you ought to be given a testimony. All right, you should be on the highways and byways bidding as many people as you can to the marriage, man. Just as he told uh, uh, Peter, you know, being fishers of men, you know, that's what we ought to do. That's our reasonable service. All right, not, 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 not uh, taking this doctrine and trying to uh, prosper in the world with it, trying to get women, you know. Yeah, I'm a king and, you know, trying to get women with the word of the Lord, you know, trying to prosper in, in jobs and in, in this society with the word of the Lord, you know, exalting yourself with the word of the Lord, you know, and making misuse of, of, of the wisdom, knowledge and understanding that the Lord gave you. All right. You know, so this back in Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse four. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, by Yahweh Shai. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you. Right? It's the, the muscles, the muscles and the skin, right? And cover you with skin, kind, the skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Right, you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Right, so Ezekiel prophesied as he commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above. Right, and that's what we do. You know, so being here in this truth, you got those camps that heard this truth and preached the truth, right? Let the people know that they're Israelites, all right? Putting the, uh, the, 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 the sinews, the muscles on the people, right? You know, putting the skin on the people. <clears throat> so this back in Ezekiel 37 and 6, and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh, so like the seven. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came 
up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them, Khan, you know, but there was no breath in them. You know, and that's also in the description of what the Lord say, hey, a man plant a seed, another man may water, but ultimately the most high give the increase. You know, and he's only gonna get that increase until who he delight in. You know, and ultimately who's seeking him 10 times more. You know, not just a staying stagnant of knowing they're Israelites. Yeah, you know you're Israel, you know, you're wearing fringes, all right? You're up into a, you at out in public and jobs with fringes on, but you got ball fades with, 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 you got ball fades, man. You got, you got lineups, edge ups, you know? So, hey, the, 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 the skin, the bones came together, the muscles was upon them and the skins was upon them, but there was no breath in them, you know? And hey, that's why it's ultimately, you got a, a, a hey, sound doctrine, man. That's what it comes into play, sound doctrine, man. In spirit and in truth, you know. That's that untempered mortar that these other churches is giving off. And this is back in Ezekiel 37 and 9. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man. Right, so prophesy to the wind, you know. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord power, come from the four winds, O breath. And breathe upon these slain that they may live. Kind of. One of the reasons why I wanted to bring that verse and that scripture out is specifically because you can build up a church, you know, you can you can bring in a mass amount of people, you know, but is it is gonna be good people? Is it gonna be good fruit? You know, you know, all 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 like just like they say in the world, all money ain't good money, you know, all, all the people ain't ain't righteous, you know. All the sheep is not. The sheep of the Lord, you know, all the sheep ain't sheep, man. There is goats in the midst, you know, as the Lord got the 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 the, 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 the tares and the wheats growing together, you know. So, hey, you'll be at fault, you know. And I'm speaking to those who are um, in, uh, in those other congregations. You're gonna be at fault for being deceived, man. You know, as the Lord said, the deceiver and the deceiver are His. I believe that's Job. So you don't want to be deceived. And then ultimately it's up to you to try the spirit. By the spirit, hey, are you a part of a, a fruitful and a profitable tree? Or are you a part of a wicked and non-profitable tree that the Lord is eventually going to hem down? You know, being the point. All right. And ultimately you're going to have to come to the, you're going to have to resort to the bum camp. You know, those who are, are prophesying in sackcloth. Those who are not uh, asking for your money. You know. They doing it out of truth and in sincerity so we can get the hell up out of here, man. And if you are the elect, all right, it's, it, it, eventually you're going to get caught. You know that, that hey, it's going to it's going to catch you, man. You're going to run up into the truth, the real truth, you know, and run up into the real run up into the real truth and to the towards the, the true men of the Lord, man, who the Lord has set up. All right. And that's starting with the apostles of Great Millstone. All right. And the camps like ourselves, the lion's den of Yashar Allah, man, who all rule well and teach well. All right. So hey, this Job chapter 12 and verse 16, and it reads, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. You know, so con, the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. This Job 15 and 31, let not him that is deceived trust in vanity. For vanity shall be his recompense, right? You know, though the blind leads into a blind, they all shall, they both shall fall into a ditch, you know? So it's, it's getting down to where the Lord is going to uh, send that stormy wind, all right? Being Jacob's trouble, all right? Being at his peak, the famine coming in, all right? Revelations 13 and 15, being the mark of the beast, which these camps don't declare and teach, all right? Which is, is coming to now is, is, is coming to bite them in the ass, all right? You know, it's coming down to where hey, it's all gonna be weighed in the balance, all right? And you wanna be, you don't wanna be uh caught and be judged with them, all right? So you're gonna have to flee those congregations if they're not uh speaking according to 
what we're teaching, man. You know, because we're, we're we're teaching the truth, man, the hundred percent truth. All right, you know, Revelations thirteen and fifteen. All right, being the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. All right, you know, and we believe that what's going on now is the precursor. All right, the software to the hardware, and as well as the depopulation plan. All right. Because we're going into the fourth industrial revolution, all right, the new world order, all right. And this is uh, Job, I brought Job 15 and 31, this is Proverbs 20 and 1. And this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 1. Wine is a marker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise, right? So if you, you're not wise, man. If you're uh, sitting in the midst of these congregations, just as you was in the Christian church 10, 15 odd years ago, all right, five, six years ago, wherever it was where you grew up in the Christian church, you're still in that same setting, just with a Hebrew Israelite doctrine, knowing that you're Israel, all right, still being given into marriage, still loathed in the law, while you claiming you're keeping the law, being a complete hypocrite, right, still getting lineups and edge ups. You know, completely still the same nigga you was in the world with the with the with the truth, with a little bit of truth, knowing that you're you're an Israelite, you know. So a wine is a marker and strong drink is raging. And whosoever deceived is not wise, man. As we as we brought out, the deceiver and the deceiver is the Lord's. Alright. From now I want to go to uh Luke 17 and 20. And this is the, the book of St. Luke, chapter 17 and verse 20. And when he was damned of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh shall come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation, right? Not with observation, not with uh, keeping unto you all people like Esau do, trying to create a church. And uh, uh, create a pyramid scheme where now you're uh, whoever's uh, first in that church, all right, become bishops in the church and move up into the ladder. And those who come in as, as newbies or inner apprentice, so to speak, right, uh, they're, 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 they're the consumer, you know, to one's business or, you know, whoever's at the top who have grown upon the ladder who got to the water first being sold to that congregation, that specific congregation, right? You know, they can uh, benefit off of the flock, the fruit, you know? Unrighteously, you know, with, with actual businesses along the world, you know, you got niggas in IUIC who make, make garments and things like that, you know, but then you got the flock who, 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 who want to know the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord, who want to know more wisdom, finding out that they're Israel and they're being uh, used, all right? They got to buy startup kits, you know? Um, they feel uh, obligated to invest or to uh, to buy or purchase and, and deal with brothers when it comes to their business and stuff like that. And that's where extortion and respect of persons and stuff like that come involved, all right? But, but here in the book of St. Luke, chapter 17, 17 and 20, and, and when he was damned of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation. You know, right, because even the, the, the sun don't even know the day or the hour. So how, how, how could you uh, heap onto you a, a congregation of people and try to work towards and, and create a plan? And they say in the world, Hey, tell the Lord your plan. He'll laugh, man. You know, that's hasting above the Lord, man, which is a sin in itself. All right. You know, in the book of Second Ezra, we, we can get it. All right. But, we, you know, that's a whole nother topic. You know, we, we can haste not above the Lord, man. You know, that's why we say a hopeful elect. That's why we say things like Yahweh Ratzaza. You know, Ratzaza meaning will. You know, Yahweh me in the Father's name. So the Father's will, the Lord's will, I can do this. The Lord's will, I can do that. You know? We continue on, verse 21. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. Right, you're not going to say, oh, we building the kingdom today. 
Oh, we making it. We almost there. We got a, a, such amount of people in our congregation. We almost at 144,000. Once IUIC get that number, we, 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 get, we up out of here. No, the Lord ain't coming to save IUIC or even GMS, man. The Lord coming to save the elect, you know? That's why we say hopefully elect, you know? Neither shall they say low here or low there, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. Right, the kingdom of without the, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shah Salakia is within you. You know, if you are the elect, most importantly, because if you are the elect, all right, once you put your hand on this plow, all right, hey, shit is gonna move, man. You know? All hell is gonna break loose. Verse 22, and he said unto unto the disciples. The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, see here or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. Right, and that's what IUIC, RSUPK, these other wayward churches, man, that don't got the 100% truth, and it's being found out now that they got wayward doctrines, you know? They just took a piece of the template and, and, and made money off of it. It was just for filthy lucre's sake, you know, and, and, and to be prosperous in the world, to be, to act and play as if there's somebody in the world, you know? And the Lord said, don't follow after them, man. You know? You want to follow after the meek and the lowly. That's ultimately who the Lord deals with. Those who prophesy in sackcloth, man. They don't care about your money. You know, they don't care about the likes. They don't care about the viewership, right? Because if half of these people out here, half of these guys out here, you know, they won't teach if they have 20 subscribers, one subscriber, you know, they'll stop teaching, you know. So hey, we, we preach to the wind, you know, ultimately the Lord's sheep is going to hear his voice, you know, being the point, you know, um, just summing up the lesson. And uh, I want to get the book of 1 John chapter 4. Bear with me, it's locked in. It's the book of First John, chapter four. Verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because many false prophets are going out into the world. There, hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh. Right, it's up to you to know the spirit of Yahweh. You got to try the spirit by the spirit. In order to know the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you got to aid. Have wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to know if that man is... is 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 is, is, a, is going accordingly to this book, all right. And if not, you ought to flee that flock, flee that congregation, man. You know. Hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh shy, Hamashiach, is come in the flesh, is of Yahweh. And every spirit that confesses not. That Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is coming in the flesh is not of Yahweh. Right. You know, they're pretty much of the Antichrist. You know, but hey, the Aishu, hey, Aishu Kage, other way with camps, they do declare that. All right. And this is that spirit of the Antichrist whereof you have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Well, can't really necessarily say that about Sakari because it was a point in time where they stated. All right, and I don't know where they at right now on it, but they stated that they didn't need Yahweh Shai to get in the kingdom. All right, specifically their their leader and the founder of their camp. All right, Alazar. All right, who goes about a uh, guerrilla Hebrew? All right, you didn't need Yahweh Shai, you know, which is that's that's your only way to to the Father. All right, the Father can't even deal with us, you know, directly. 
you know, without your house shot, you know. But I want to get to the point in verse five. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. And the world heareth them, right? The world heareth them. That's why they got a mass group and a mass following, man. Because those worldly individuals that didn't have the full understanding of the of, of a the bitter sweet, right? The bitterness of the truth. All right, sweet in your mouth, but when you digest it and it settles for bitterness, right? When he told Ezekiel to eat the whole roll, right? <clears throat> so the world here of them, the world here of their congregations, that's why they have these big mass followings, man, like the Christian church, all right? But ultimately, the Lord is not dealing with that, all right? The, the Lord is dealing with the bum camp, and ultimately, you, hey, you got to get it from who the Lord gave it to, all right? And that's to these wayward camps, and that's even in the fold. All right, you gotta get it to who the, you gotta get it from who the Lord gave it to ultimately. All right, you know, and ultimately we preach to the wind. All right, and hey, the Lord can't deny Himself. You know, I end off with this. This Romans, well, Salakia. I wanted to end off in First John four and one. There was something in there I had to get. It's First John chapter four. In verse Con, I read verse 5 Verse 6 We are of Yahweh He that knoweth Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Heareth us He that is not of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Heareth not us Hereby know we The spirit of truth And the spirit of error Right And that's why we was rebuking them Along the way You know Before The times that we're in now And we're still rebuking them now To for them to correct, correct their, their teachings, correct their ways so they can get the bloodshed off their hands from their flock. All right. Hey, but the wicked shall wax worse than worse. You know, so hey, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of, 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 of error, man. You know, so we was rebuking them because we know that wasn't the right way, you know. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of Yahweh, and everyone that loveth is born of Yahweh and knoweth Yahweh. So, you know, that's pretty much the point in five and six, you know. You know, they, they don't they don't hear us, they don't hear the true men of the Lord, you know, the hopeful men of the Lord, the hopefully elect, all right, who's doing it correctly according to what's written, all right. They don't hear us because they're not of us, man. You know, as the scriptures say, they, they they went from us because they're what of us, man. All Israel is not of Israel, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And um, Shalom, you know, a, be a, a have a spirit of discernment and a rightly divide, not only rightly divide the word of truth, Salakia, but a try the spirit by the spirit, you know. Line these individuals up, you know, and this is Matthew 7 and 17. Because you want to be a part of a fruitful tree, you know. This is Matthew 7 and 17, and I end off with this. And it reads, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot, right, you had a counselor, an IUIC, in the UK specifically, it was a murder, all right? You had uh, extortion, you had guys going, in, going to jail for extortion, you know? I want to say the top bishop, Kanai, you know, of the dude pockets, uh, you know, so it was just, there's a lot of uh, works and things that you can, you can try these people by, you know, GOCC, he had a whole congregation go to the land of Israel over there, and he didn't, he didn't meet them over there, you know, or something like that, you know, collected money, you know, next thing you know, he was seen riding the streets of, uh, I want to say, upstate New York or Philly in, in, in a in 600, six-figure car, you know. ISUPK, the same thing. General Yohanna, you know, is the blasphemy of the things that he, they teach, you know. The, the John, the Baptist blasphemy, right? The old get a plate of hot sauce, that nigga. So it's, it's all type of ways you can measure these individuals up to know Hey, to try the spirit by the spirit to know who 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 the true men of the Lord are. All right. And I started with the apostles of Great Millstone and the camps like ourselves, the lines then Yasharala. And it's the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 
18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit, right? It don't mix. It's like water and oil. You know, it have nothing to do with each other. All right. Verse 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is him down and cast into the fire. Right. The, they the second death. That lake of fire being America. That's what they going to be a part of, man. You know, because they loathe the law. You know, they cast the Lord's words behind them and did their own thing. Went off their own mind, their own vain opinion. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Verse 21, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's why we say things like, hopefully, let Yahweh Tazah. You know, we don't have uh, long-term goals, so to speak, when it comes to building here in America, you know? Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Come You know, so you want to examine thyself if you're in the truth or not, man. You know? And uh, Yahweh Tazad, this lesson was edifying, man. And you don't want to be uh, in that day where all your works go to waste. You know, especially if you're, uh, in, in you're truthful and you're sincerity about your works and you're a part of these congregations. All right? Flee out of those congregations, man. You know? And um, Shalom, Habitat, hope. Yahweh Rotten's lesson was edifying. And um, to the next one, Shalom.